Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome back to school. Today is Tuesday, May 25th, 2021. We're glad you're back with us for a great day of learning on this terrific Tuesday. As we get started today, today is the final day to turn in your Freiland's Reading Challenge slips of paper that show books that you've read. We've been reading since mid, well, even a little bit before mid-April, so about five and a half weeks we did our reading challenge. How many books did you read during that one and a half months? Um, hopefully you read more than one. Hopefully you've turned in at least one of those uh, pieces of paper with the title and your name on it so you can go into the drawing. Tomorrow we will start the drawings and see where we end up. If we don't get through from tomorrow, we'll be doing some more drawings on Thursday. We got lots and lots of prizes, so we'll have lots of winners. And really, you're already a winner if you've been reading, because our goal is to make sure that you get practice at reading, because that's how you get better at it. Also, the more you read, the more you enjoy reading. It's kind of it's kind of interesting the way that works. As you read, boys and girls, you get more and more interested in the stories and the things that you're learning from books. So sometimes we read books for pleasure and we enjoy them. Maybe you like mysteries or fantasies or adventures. Um, sometimes we uh, read and we learn for information, um, social studies kinds of books, learning about different people and cultures, um, as well as science kinds of books to learn about the world around us, whether it's animals or plants or weather or water. There's all kinds of things to learn um, about our world. So that's what books do. <clears throat> books are kind of a mirror where we can hold up a book and it reflects back on us and it reminds us of ourselves and our life. And then sometimes it's like a window and we look into other worlds or other people's perspective or their world um, that may be different than our own. So that's what books do. Uh, they open up our world to us. So I hope you've enjoyed doing the reading challenge this month and a half, and I hope you have been reading books um, and getting more and more excited about reading. I love reading, and I hope you do too. If you're still trying to find those just right books for you, remember your teachers, Mrs. Capone, and the library, those are great resources to help you find those just right books that are at your reading level that you enjoy. Um, and sometimes it's about genre. That's the kind of books that you like. My favorite genre I've shared before is nonfiction. So I like to read about real things going on. Um, other people, it's fiction. They like to have uh, stories, whether it's adventures or fantasy. Um, a lot of you like graphic novels, which are fun as well. So um, find your genre, find what you like. And then also, you also can find authors you like. So that's always fun too. If you read a book and you like it, you can ask if we have other books from that author in our library. And chances are we do. And then you can start reading that author because you'll find that you like their style of writing. Just like you're a writer when you're writing at school, you're a writer and you have a certain style, a certain voice in your writing. Um, authors do that. And so you may find that you really like a certain author um, no matter what books they write. So that's another way to get into reading as well. So boys and girls, as you start off on this terrific Tuesday, remember, turn in those slips of paper today. Today's the last day so we can get your names in for the drawing. And again, great job in your practice of reading. We really appreciate you working hard. Not only are you working hard there, but you know what? Every day, boys and girls, we see you working hard in class and at school. We appreciate you making sure that you have your mask up and on and over. Your, your nose. We appreciate that you're getting here on time, ready for school. We appreciate that you're keeping your distance in the hallway and in class and as much as you can out at recess as well. So following all those kinds of rules and stuff, but also we appreciate you working hard in class with your learning. We know it's been super difficult this whole year and we're glad we're back in session, you know, in person to see you, but um, it is tough. And so I wanna uh, give a special shout out to all of you students. You Falcons are working hard to get uh, your work done and to uh, learn, which is why you're here. So have a great day of learning boys and girls and always remember your Freilands family cares about you. All right, teachers, please lead your students in the Pledge of Allegiance and students, please make sure you're getting in those final 
um, book sheets that you've done all that reading on. All right. Have a terrific Tuesday. Take care.